welcome all of you today class you will going to learn about triggering the scr triggering the scr or another name you can say firing the scr that means triggering circuit or firing circuit it is act as the controller so controller controller of the device very interesting one okay what are, what are the number of terminals in terminals in scr three terminals what are the three terminals anode cathode gate terminals okay the gate terminal purpose is a it is a control so you will going to give the record number of the current minimum number of the current when you will going to apply the gate terminal will going to close once it is a close means it will going to permit the power is a flow from anode to cathode so this is about the control control of the device scr is a controlled on uncontrolled off you could not in the off that one scr for interchanging the gate to cathode power supply okay then how to you will going to switch off either natural commutations or forced commutations okay let's we go ahead on that ones triggering circuit or firing circuit you can say so here you will going to before you will going to see uh, last video you have learned about the static characteristics of scr or it will going to conduct the laboratory test also so i explain about how to conduct the test <coughs> based on the given circuit diagrams okay if i have see that ones that have gate with respect to cathode the left hand side you have connected the power supply the power supply is connected series with one of the resistance and connected to that gate terminals here is a negative okay so this is a, i want to measure the meter ammeter and voltage so seriously you can connect the ammeter so parallelly you can connect the voltmeters so what is the here uh, the device is connected one of the variable resistance dc power supply or ps power supply you can use one of the variable resistance you can use the scr is operate on the ac power supply as well as dc power supply okay the scr is operate on the ac as well as dc power supply so in laboratory you will going to conduct a test here okay so dc power supply you will going to apply and then you will going to with help of the variable resistance when you will going to vary this resistance okay first it will going to reach on the holding current after that it is moved to that latching current once it is reach the latching current the minimum current the required current once you will going to reach the minimum current the scr it will going to turn on that is called a triggering method so this is a method is a type of triggering is called a gate triggering method so through the gate i will going to trigger the scr through the gate i will going to trigger the mcr particularly what type of method in the gate triggering i am used means or method only resistance is used so in this uh, video you at the end uh, you will going to learn about okay you mean second part you will going to learn about the uh, different uh, gate tr triggering method so coming to that one uh, previous slides let's we move triggering circuits why here uh, you have look the slides there are different type of the triggering circuits okay uh, forward voltage triggering temperature trigger triggering light triggering dv by dt triggering gate triggering what i told that is a gate triggering okay so if you are going to uh, ask me questions so without apply a gate terminal is, is it possible to trigger the scr without apply the gate terminal is it possible to apply a so is it possible to on the scr yes if it is on means it's a mal function without my permission that is without gate permission the switch is on means it is called a mal functions so out of all the semiconductor device the scr is a possible to do the mal function the scr is a particularly possible to do the mal functions what are the different reason to act as the mal function means these are all the reason to act as the mal function when temperature is there due to the temperature it will going to have possible to act as the mal function due to the forward voltage higher forward vol forward voltage it is act as the mal function due to that light triggering method higher illuminations possible to act as the mal functions due to changes of the voltage possible to occur the mal functions okay so let's we go ahead on that these then uh, things okay uh, what is a conduction okay when scr is on when scr is on 
when the okay uh, you have just you will going to recap your characteristics diagram vi characteristics okay uh, y axis i and x axis is a v vi characteristics so when it is move from the break over voltage to the conduction when it is a move from that break over voltage to that conduction so that the time the scr is a triggered or it is a it will go to on mode it is going to on mode so that is called a triggering okay let's we go for the forward voltage triggering so what are the possibilities without time apply the gate terminals so what is a what is a here possibilities so when you have increased the anode to cathode voltage so uh, higher so when you have higher levels you will going to increase that once it is possible to break down break down on that junctions which junction j2 junctions so how many number of junction in that one just you can recap the construction diagrams so there are three junction and four layers p n p n they like there are four layers so here the symbol also you have given p n p n is a given and that one four layers so p is a, a, a node n another p is a, a, a gate terminal another one is n for that cathodes okay how many number of junction j1 j2 j3 three junctions okay when you will going to apply the forward voltage what is a forward voltage anode is a positive with respect to cathode is a negative anode is a far positive with respect to cathode when you will going to apply the forward voltage what will happen junction j1 and j3 is a forward bias junction j2 is a reverse bias avalanche breakdown so when the junction is a j2 normally in the reverse breakdowns so when you have going to increase that forward voltage automatically the breakdown of the layer j2 layer the with with or thickness it will going to reduce so uh, when it will going to reduce the thickness automatically what will happen it will going to be permit to flow from anode to cathode okay there are no barrier no barrier so this is the method to turn on that one is a forward voltage triggering method the next one is a temperature triggering method so similarly the temperature okay so when it is the increase the abnormal abnormal temperature due to that abnormal temperature the junction j2 layer the thickness or width of the deflection layer the width of the j2 or j2 of the width of the deflection layer it will going to decrease okay when you will going to increase that temperature so temperature is increase means the thickness is uh, reduced so at one particular level what will happen that uh, the no barrier so uh, the current is a flow from anode to cathode okay so this is a temperature type of the triggering or thermal you can say type of the triggering method so next one is a radiation triggering radiation or light triggering so here is a lightly you will going to make the modification of the ser so instead of the gate terminal you will going to inner p layer of that one uh, yes so pn pn the inner p layer okay in that one is you will going to light modification you will going to do so it is a similar to light based okay it will going to operate so inside the p layer instead of the gate terminal you will going to make for that special type of that one so you will going to make when you will going to make means so the, when the whenever the light is strike out the uh, scr it will going to turn on whenever the uh, AC, whenever the light is strike out it will going to turn on so gate terminal is uh, replaced okay so it will going to develop so whenever the light is strike out the scr is uh, turn on so lea scr light activated scr so next one is a dv by dt triggering method so what is a dv by dt change of of the voltage take place whenever the changes of the voltages take place it will going to trigger okay so in normally j1 j2 j so j1 and j3 is a forward bias j2 is a reverse bias reverse bias is a barrier it will go to barrier on that one so due to the barrier no current is a flow and to cathode then how when this barrier or deflection layer the thickness thickness or width is reduced so when changes of the voltage is occurs when changes of the voltage is occurs see here is one more point okay junction B, uh, j2 is a big as a capacitor due to the charge existing in, across the junction due to the charge existing across the junction so what will happen so uh, applied voltage across the b another one is the charges of the q okay the capacitance by c so ic is equal to dq by dt okay so due to that one charge existing across the junction 
so this is the reason charging ex charges existing across the junction so here is a dq by dt q value can substitute into the c into v when you will going to substitute it so you will going to get it done that one equation is a c dot dv by dt changes of the voltage with respect to the constant so constant dot dv by dt so rate of change of the voltage across that device becomes large so when rate of changes of the voltage across the device becomes large it is a turn on even if the voltage across the device is small also possible to turn on so this is a one type of the method to turn on the acr triggering the acr so gate triggering method i already i said about that once so you will going to apply the pulse okay you will going to apply a pulse to that gate terminal when you will going to apply a pulse to the gate terminal with respect to the cathode the gate terminal it will going to turn on so this is about that gate triggering method the gate triggering is a further or firing circuits it's a further it will going to divided or classified into the r type of triggering rc type of triggering ugt type of the triggering this this three is a basically we are used in old very olden days so nowadays it's a control i mean a closed loop type of the triggering method another another one is advancedly it is came as artificial intelligence intelligent controlling of the method and then fuzzy logic etc etc it is optimization it is k so basically this is a type of the triggering so what is that one if i have see the diagrams so this is the diagram in that one ac power supply so acr is operate on that higher rating of the ac power supply that is it is a facility and then limitation is very lowest about the switching frequency so ac power supply when you will going to apply here this is circuits okay thyristor is there. thyristor is there followed by the load load it is a closed circuits it is just it is a switch switch is connected to series with the load so power is connected to the load it through switch okay when the switch is on when the switch is on so i have i need to on based on that gate triggering methods what is a gate triggering method here is a potential divider method okay the main two resistance is used i said about already resistance is used this is a resistant type of triggering so here two resistance it is used to i will going to divide it on the potential unidirectional diode to flow to that this directions and connected to the gate terminals so whenever you will going to vary the resistance suppose i want to vary here variable resistance you can will going to keep so when you will going to apply means so you will going to variable of the current applied to the gate terminals see the uh, uh, waveforms so it is start from the 90 degree to 180 degree 90 degree to 180 degree the acr does not conduct on the negative of cycles why it is does not conduct on negative of cycles cycles one cycle means phase with respect to neutral positive of cycle the current is a flow acr is on okay during the negative of cycle okay top is a neutral bottom is a phase so phase with respect to neutral it does not have permit to flow on that reverse direction it is a unidirectional so it is not flow so that's why the negative side negative of cycle it not conducted this is a r r type of triggering method let's we go to the rc triggering method why do you want to go for that rc triggering method means okay uh, it is see that one it is start from 90 degree to 180 degree i need to start from the 0 to 180 degree if you want to start from 0 to 180 degree means so i want to vary from 0 to 180 degree then you can go for that rc triggering method so here also source load another one is a acr to close circuits here what is that one the firing circuit two diode one variable resistance and a capacitance it is used to i want to achieve from 0 to 180 degree whenever i will going to vary the resistance it will going to varying the firing angles but it not it is also not conduction and conduct on the negative of cycle what about negative of cycle the acr is a natural commutation naturally turn off then uh, then last one ujt type of the triggering method what about the, what is the ujt type of triggering method it is an, uh, familiarly we are use uh, familiarly using in everywhere uh, in that one laboratory ujt type of the triggering method the r and rc method whenever you are going to use means it is a power dissipate is high resistance means power dissipations so that one you will going to minimize the power loss that's why you have go for that uh, ujt type of triggering methods so here is a ujt so here is a emitter that emitter is a, we will going to get the get from that r and c through r and c emitter it will going to get so 
another one is this is the output of the terminal of the ujt is connected to that gate terminals okay output of the terminal is connected to the gate terminal so whenever you will going to varying the resistance value voltage across that capacitance gate vary it so whenever this this one is varied so automatically the capacitance where voltage is varied okay whenever this voltage is it is equivalent to that ujt so capacitance voltage is equal to the peak value of the ujt it is a start to conduct okay it will going to give the pulse it will going to start to conduct so that's all uh, let's let's come to the, the conclusions so today class you have uh, learned about triggering the ac or triggering or firing the circuits okay uh, different mall function method it is a possible to trigger forward voltage temperature triggering method dv by dt triggering method okay another one is light triggering method good triggering method is the gate triggering method okay when you will going to apply the gate pulses what are the methods of the gate pulses means r type of triggering method the limitation it is a way vary from 90 degree to 180 degree rc type of the triggering method it is a vary from 0 to 180 degree ujt type of triggering methods okay the power loss of the r and rc is overcome whenever the capacitance voltage is equal to the peak value of the ujt so it the ujt it will going to give the pulse that's all so about the triggering of the scr thank you